Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Craft. How you doing? Do you, do you like my squid plushie? I like my squid plushie. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, yeah, so welcome back, guys. We we have a wonderful things planned for today. That's what we have. I tell you what, I've been looking forward to... T for oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I've been looking forward for today. To today. That's the word. To today because we finally get to do some building we collected so many blocks and now we can turn our our kind of okay home here into something a little bit more cozy you know a little bit more enjoyable so i got going on it already we we did this forge last episode i think that looks pretty cool right so I kind of want some sort of a roof over top here. Just something to keep the rain out. I don't actually want like a solid block roof though, right? Nothing nothing too sophisticated or extreme like that. Can we... I wonder if we could rip together like a, a lattice of some sort. You know what I mean? Like a, Let's see if we can do it. How would we do it? Um, maybe at this height? Okay, so, yeah, these blocks go by eights, right? Maybe we will plan, like, second from that side of the block, second from that one, second from this one, and we'll just see what this does. So now if we copy that one more block over, the detail to do this is extreme, by the way. <laughs> so we want to make sure we get it right. Do that, and then copy it here. That might look okay, right? It's not totally even, so it'll it'll have a little bit of a different pattern there than compared to over there. And then we could put thatch or something over top. That might be cool. I think I'm going to try that. Uh, yeah, so I just uh, been working on this area a little bit. I uh, set up a little like counter area space here. I think that's very important when you're working with the forge. Um, I did want to add some shelves too, you know, just like chests and uh, shelves, lots of storage. We want lots of storage around here. Let's see, let's do one of, the, or a few of these maybe. There is for the normal type of wood too, right? Yeah, okay. What, what can we do? Maybe a chestnut? Chestnut looks pretty good. I would like sequoia, but we don't have that. Birch is my favorite type of wood in this, by the way. We gotta find that. We haven't found any birch trees yet. Birch and aspen look great together in this. Okay, so what did I say? Chestnut? I may have burnt all the chestnut, now that I think of it. I think it was over there. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, maple. Maple. Oh, darn it. I think we're out. Alright, I think this is what we're looking for here. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Let's chop this sucker down. Give me your beautiful chestnut wood. All right. And yeah, that's it. Okay, good. And I think we should do the fire test for real now, just to see what happens here. See if it burns anything down nearby. Okay, so it's lit. It's good. So the carpenter blocks might catch fire. And I wanted to put some shelves down here too. I'm not sure if these are going to be safe. Let's try it out. We'll just do three of them. Yeah, this is a pretty nice wood. It's kind of like a reddish color to it. Stands out a little bit. So, like, I'm worried this one might catch fire. So far, nothing's on fire, though. That's a good sign. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I just wanted to see if... Uh, did I go in the barrel? Oh, I can't go in the barrel. I wasn't sure if it would catch me on fire, I'll be honest. But yeah, these shelves are pretty cool. You can like, put four items on each one, get a nice visual of it. So like, if I get ores or something that need to be smelted, I just put them on there. I could even put like another row up there, maybe. Oops. Um, let's get a chest down as well. Let's, let's do one of these. Ooh. I don't know if I like that. It's got like a green border on it. Oh, 
babies! <laughs> they they had the baby pigs. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need to make a home for them now. Oh, I was too late. I should have made a home before, but I didn't think they would be ready already. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I think we got five little oinkers. Oh, this pig wants to drown. Don't go there. That doesn't look safe. Let me let me push you away. Do they want food too? Oh, come on, guys. I can't feed that many mouths. Oh, no. Maybe I'll just pick a favorite among the five. <laughs> and I'll only feed that one. Because I don't think I have enough food for all of them. Oh, man. I feel feel so much stress now. You know, Terra Firma Craft has used, used to be, like, really relaxing and chill. And now, I'm a father. I got a family to take care of. <laughs> and no no home for them. And, you know, a bear could come by and just slash those poor little pigs. That would be the end of them. And it would be on my on my conscious, conscience. <laughs> I hate that word. Um, okay. Tell you what. I wanted to try something. There is actually a recipe thing in Terra Firma Craft. Kill, kill squid, get ink. I didn't get any calamari off those guys now that I think of it. I got gypped. Man, I should have got some food. Um, yeah, we we combine the, the marking with paper, though. Okay, so there is a recipe to make paper in the bench here. We're going to do that. We get eight from one. Leather is very valuable, though, so I don't know if I'd want to do this a lot. Uh, if it uses up every single one, I'm not sure. Let's just try and make one. Okay, just one. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it, because I've never done this before. Because, you know, it might just be easier to place four four little pieces. We'll see. It says to right-click on a detailed block to use. So on here. Oh, maybe it means, like, the little chisel? Right-click on a detailed block to use. Oh, it might be only, like, the fine detail things. It might not work for this. Ah, okay. Not the right type of thing then, I guess. I guess I gotta do it manually. <laughs> Alright. Alright, very good. So I got somewhat of a roof built here now. It's kind of cool, right? I like it. It's not like uh, totally enclosing it off, but it feels, it feels like it makes the area more cozy, which is what I was hoping for. I had to leave this area open here, open up here, though, because... I think this forge actually needs it for like a chimney, if I'm not mistaken. So it checks like two blocks away and up. If it needs access to the sky, uh oh, <laughs> uh oh. Um, okay. I don't know if it can do it diagonally. Is the problem? So I don't know if this counts. If I have trouble when I fire it up next time, we'll have to take out a little bit more here or something. Um. This area here, I do kind of like how it's open, right? It's like you can see the landscape around. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, we Oh, rain, rain check here. Is it coming through? No, it does stop it. Oh, good. That's what I was hoping for. That rain is so annoying. <laughs> it's the main reason I built it. Maybe we could do like a glass window thing here. You know what I mean? So it, it'll still be a wall that... So items won't fall down, but we can still see through it. I think that would be a good idea. I thought I had a lot of glass around here, but now I'm not so sure. A little bit there. We need, like, storage, organization. <laughs> you got, like, random glass all over the place. I don't think I've cooked very much of it, though. But we'll work on that. Uh, I want to redo this pit kiln thing. This looks terrible. And it doesn't work either. If you have two together diagonally like this, it doesn't actually work. You can only light one of them at a time, I found out. Um, the big thing, though, that we want to do... Maybe next. Let's work on this next. To get up this mountain isn't very nice. We have to travel through this area here. And then we have like a one wide little path there. So we should actually make some, some fancy stairs, like some stone stairs, you know, would be cool. Wait, that's that's human food? <laughs> Rye, there we go. 
And, oh, the horse is getting close. It's up to three pixels. I think one more might do it. Then we'll try ride ride the horse again. Having transport is so important in this. Uh, I'm not going to feed the pigs, you know. They they did what I wanted them to do. They're on their own. No. <laughs> I want to, like, once we get the path built here, we might try to make a house for them up here, too. But I'm not, I don't want to lead them up here without a proper path because they'll just fall and die. So, uh, we do have shale mud bricks. Chert mud bricks look pretty cool. And I think this is slate. Yeah. What should we use for the ground is the next question. Like, like that's pretty good. That might be a bit dark. I usually prefer, like, lighter ground. Let's see if we can make stairs out of this stuff. I'm not sure if we actually can. So we'll, uh, we get our chisel. Chisel and hammer. Oh, we don't have the hammer. I left it in the anvil. We might do a little bit of exploring today, too, depending on how this goes. There it is. All right. So I, there is, a like, a stair mode with this. Oh, I forget what the key is, though. Oh, I got it. V. <laughs> All right, stair mode. Let's try it out. It probably matters. Oh, it takes out little chunks like that. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be pretty good for stairs, right? It's actually very similar in color to the dirt in this area, which I think is a good thing. All right, so maybe two or three wide staircase coming down here would be cool. Maybe a flat spot at like this area here. All right, it's very cool. Just about got the stairs down. Just going to add two more at the bottom here. And then we'll flatten it out a bit. So it kind of goes off to nothing right now. <laughs> I'll uh, put some land down here, I guess, when I can. Flatten it out a bit. I think that'd be good. So we come up and whoa, be, be careful here. That will actually kill me if I fall down there. So got to really watch it. Then we got some more little stairs here. And then it goes up to the, the blacksmith. Then the wooden ones up to the tent house here. Very cool. Uh, I got to decide some kind of border to add on them. Should we do shale, chert, or slate? I'm leaning towards shale just because I like it so much. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so we'll go up on the sides and maybe we'll do the stair thing with them too. How would we do that, though? We might need to add more blocks, like one here and here and here. And then, like, chisel this out. Um, or should we go in one more? I'm not sure. That looks maybe a bit too bulky. Anyways, <laughs> I'm very picky about these things, if you haven't noticed. We'll do it all along the side here. Again, i got to be really careful. And let's... Well, you know, if I'm going to risk my life, I should do it on camera, right? <laughs> let's do this part. If I fall, you guys are going to witness it, okay? Oh, is that not it? There we go. So what I, what I want to do is maybe increase the amount of land we have over here. Like, if it could come out to about, like, here, that would be great. So we're going to do a little expansion... And I think maybe the best way of doing that is to go down very scarily. Oh, like a pro, though. Okay, go down. That's four down. Um, I think we can go one more. Oh, okay. <laughs> that should do. So I think one... One, two, three, four. Let's go five on the fifth one. We'll do this. All right. And it's a bad place for the ladders. We'll do the supports here then. So we'll just put these down like so. Connect them together. And now it should support land just kind of floating. Up to four, four blocks out from this horizontal piece. And we can build it out now. All right, so maybe I'll just go down. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. How far is that? It looks it looks really close. All right, so this is the big test now. We have somewhat of a passage up the mountain. I'm totally lost. Where are they? 
We're going to see if we can get one of the little pigs up it. <laughs> a little test pig. Hopefully he does okay. Can you get out of there, little piggy? These aren't like leads. I can't like just rip them out of gravity's force field or anything like that, I don't think. No, okay. I'll I'll dig him a little thing up here. Hopefully nobody else escapes. Come on. Come on, little piggy. Oh, he's so cute. He's <laughs> so small. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah, that should hold him. Okay. So I'm going to call you... What should we call him? Can't think of a name. Mm, sniffers. We got Sniffers here. <laughs> I saw the nose. That's the best I could come up with. I, I, w I wasn't ready for the pressure. Okay. So you you got to stay really close, Sniffers. Really close when we go up here. Maybe if I hold grain, this will make it easier. I'm not sure. Yeah, he seems to cooperate a little bit better. The stairs. Are you going to freak out on the stairs? No, you're good. Oh, it's like you've done this before. Okay, good. Okay, now it's very dangerous here. Don't go off the sides. Very dangerous here. <laughs> don't go off the sides. Now, don't slip between these stairs. Oh, yeah, I know. They're they're scary, but they're really stairs. You can make it up. You just got to believe. You got to believe. Okay, you can take the grass. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to do it the human way. All right, we got them all the way up here. It's fine. It's okay, buddy. Sniffers. You know, I'm not like some humans that are like, no pigs allowed inside the house. I'm all for it. Really. Oh, don't fall down there. Don't you dare fall down there. <laughs> I don't think he's going to come in. Oh, snap. Okay. I don't remember how to make a fence either off the top of my head. <gasps> Careful. Uh, was it... Two two logs and two sticks? No. Planks, maybe? <gasps> Sniffers, careful. Okay, we need to get you a house right now. <laughs> like, right, right now. Uh, I kind of thought I could get him inside. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to bust the door down. That'll work, right? That's our only hope. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I guess let's make him a little dog house. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. Uh, yeah, we'll do a dog house. Detail mode. Super detail mode. Okay, I don't... like. I think they have the same hitbox as a normal pig is the problem. So I don't know if he'll fit in this, but we'll try it. Let's see, how did I shape this before? This is the same style we did for Nuggets. If you remember Nuggets, I'm going to get the same wonderful treatment. Okay, is that a good good shape for it? And hollow it out a bit. I'm gonna do that and we'll see if he can fit inside that. There we go. It looks pretty roomy, right? I think that's good. Okay, so what we'll do, put that there, put that there. We'll see if sniffers can fit in that. Okay, sniffers, I got a home for you. It's wonderful, you'll love it. Let's get a plank ready for him, too, because we got to seal him inside so he can't escape. <laughs> Not that he would ever want to. All right, where's the rye? we got to entice him. Okay. Entice him with rope. Okay. You must follow me. Do not fall off this cliff. It's very dangerous. Okay. Now, will you go inside there? Oh, please do. He might be too big. Too fat. You too fat. Oh, he is. Darn it. <laughs> no. Sniffers, what are we going to do with you then? All right. Well, you're going to have to live in the house with me then. Because I'm not taking you down. <laughs> we'll, we'll be roommates, I guess. All right. So there we go. Even if I leave the door open, he can't get out. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, he's so small. It's so cool. <laughs> I actually really like him in the house. That way, we, you know, we get to see him that way. If he's outside, you never see him. And he grows up, and then he's not cute anymore. 
or she, I don't know if it's a she or a he. It doesn't have any horns. It might be a she. <laughs> Anyways, I did build a doghouse. If we find a wolf or a, a pheasant or a chicken of some sort later, we, we have a place for him there. And maybe, yeah, let's try, let's see if we can ride the horse now. We're going to do one more feeding. Do one more feeding here. Are we friends yet? I fed you so much. I'm actually running low on food. I'm going through it so quick now for some reason. Yellow heart. Oh, this might be it, actually. I wasn't actually expecting it. <laughs> I was like, okay, probably going to feed him five more times, but this might actually be it. All right, can I hop on? Oh, I can hop on now. Oh, man, we're going to be best friends. Oh, accept my love. Oh, yes. Amazing. We have a horse. We got the saddle. Oh, please be an amazing horse. Right, can you jump? Yes, you can. <laughs> what was that? Oh, uh, no, not much of a jumper. Not much of a jumper. Darn it. I've heard there's an issue where they take a lot of damage. I don't know if that's true. We'll have to be careful, though. They might be taking, like, vanilla damage. Or have, like, vanilla health. I'm not sure. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, this is great. This is what I wanted. Alright, not not terrible. It's a little bit on the slow side. But uh, we'll, we'll love her. 1,250. She has more health than me, though. So I think she's okay. Oh yeah, look how fast that zinc is coming up. <laughs> like, if I was to walk this or run this... Oh, it would take me so long to get here. This is awesome. Alright, so well, very cool. I'm happy about this. We got a nice horse. We'll have to build a stable for her so that she doesn't get lost. But for right now, that pit probably will do okay. Although I did look, I did look how to make a fence here. So it is... Here, let's hop off for a second. You got to use the same type of wood for both the lumber and the, the logs. There we go. Now we should, we should be able to tie her to that. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Come back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, it wasn't letting me on for some reason. All right. Well, we've... Oh, careful. Oh, man. It's just so much easier to get around. Like... Can you imagine jumping that before? No way. Uh-uh. All right, we'll just leave her tied to the fence here for now. Cool. Well, uh, we got a little bit done here today, guys. Pretty cool. We got some friends. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll try to uh, do some more adventuring and building. It is winter time, you know. It's winter, 7th of December, but we're not getting any snow. It says the temperature is 2.8. So just above freezing. I don't know if it actually snows here. It's going to be very close. One degree up here. So it could happen if it... Like, it's got to get to zero, I think. And then it has to rain. And it turns to snow. Uh-huh. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.